Welcome back. I'm so glad to see all of you again this morning. I'm very excited to teach you the basics of physics this morning. And I'm going to touch on the change of units. And this is in the first chapter in Form 4 Physics. Alright, what are we going to do today? Back to basics. Now, the basics are very important in any area of life. And it is no different in physics. You must know your quantities well and the units are very important. So at the end of this lesson this morning, you must be able to master the concept of changing one unit to another. And we are going to look at two examples. And once again, I would like to remind you that to study physics well, you must rehearse, you must answer questions, try not to memorize. It is not possible to memorize and, and do well in physics. You have to understand. So this morning, I'm going to teach you how to understand physics. Let's take a look at the first example. Here we have the question that says, ND cycles at a velocity of 3.1 kilometers per hour. What is this velocity in meters per second? So let us look at this question and, uh, and see how we are going to answer it. Alright, so what do I do? First and foremost, you would like to do it, you have to do it step by step. Now what I will do is, I will write down 3.1 kilometers per hour. Alright, this is the question given to me. 3.1 kilometers per hour. All right. I would recommend that the first step to do is to write it again but in another form. What do I mean? 3.1 kilometers per hour. Per hour means divided by one hour for every one hour. It is 3.1 kilometers per one hour or for every one hour. So once you have written this second step, the rest of it becomes easier. So what is the next thing? 3.1 kilometers, I want to change it to meters. Alright, now take a look at this. Meter per second. So kilometers, change it to meters, what do I do? I multiply it by 1,000. So, this whole unit now is in meters. So, I have solved the first part. Kilometers, I change it to meters. Alright, now what about the per second? So, at the denominator or at the bottom of the fraction, you see that it is one hour. So, I want to change the one hour. I change it to minutes. So, one hour is 60 minutes. And one minute is 60 seconds. So, this is in seconds. So, I have got now meter per second. So, what I do now is this. So, I have 3.1 multiplied by 1000 divided by 60 times 60, I get meter per second. Alright, so once you have done this, you just use a calculator, you work it out, you would get your answer in meter per second. Alright, 0 0.8611 meter per second. So here you are. What I have done basically is to change from one unit, kilometer per hour, I change it to meter per second. It's quite simple, isn't it? can see you are smiling. All right, all of you agree with me that it is simple. All right, now once you are ready, we are going to proceed to the next question. Now the next question is something like a reverse gear. What do I mean? Alright, a very simple question. 
I now have an object that moves at a speed of 10 meter per second. What is this speed in kilometers per hour? So now I am asking you to change the unit from meter per second, change it to kilometers per hour. So it is kind of similar but not the same. All right, similar but different. All right, are you ready? Okay, let's go. So again, I will write down step by step. Step by step, I will write down the speed is 10 meters per second. So I just write down the speed. It is 10 meter per second. So follow my method. I write down 10 meters per second means divided by 1 second. So it is 10 meters per second. It's, it's very simple, isn't it? Not? All right. So now my next job, as you know, is if you look at the question, I want to change it to kilometers per hour. So what do I do? I change 10 meters to kilometers. So what do I do? I change it from 10 meters to change from meters to kilometers. I have got to divide it by 1000. Alright, now that part, I assume that you know what to refer to and how to change it. Alright, it is part and parcel of the whole subject of physics. So I multiply by 10 to the power of minus 3 kilometers. Alright, that is the same as dividing by 1000. Now I have one second. Down there, one second. I would like to change it to minute first. To change it to minute, I have got to divide by 60. So, this one, I have got to divide by 60. Now, this part, you have to be very, very careful. Let me write it again. I'll use the other space there. Alright. So, I have 10 meters. I divide by 1 second. Just now, I multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3 kilometers. And the one second, I have got to change it to minute first. And one second is 1 divided by 60. And this unit is in minute. Alright. I write that in full. Now, I'm going to do it step by step because... If I do not do it step by step, some students will have problems. Alright? So I have now kilometers per minute. That is my unit. Alright? But then what do I want? I want kilometers per hour. Okay? So another step. So to get minute change it to hour, I've got to divide by 60 again because 1 hour is 60 minutes. So this is 1 divided by 60 and then I've got to divide it by 60 again. Alright, so this is kilometer and this unit is in hour. Alright, so far so good? Okay. And after this, once you work it out, use your calculators carefully be very careful about the divisions, the fractions, and so on and so forth. You should be able to get an answer that is approximately equal to the answer that I have worked out, which is about 36.0, alright? It is 36.0 kilometers per hour, alright? So now, if you look at this question... I have changed the unit from meter per second. I have changed it to kilometers per hour. So now, the speed given in the question, it is about 36.0 kilometers per hour. It's quite straightforward, isn't it? But you need to master, number one, the concepts. Then number two, the skills of it. And then you need to practice. 
So what I would like to recommend to you now is after having done these two questions with me, look for other questions that are very similar, practice, and after that you will find that all this is actually as easy as ABC. Alright, so again, a good reminder as we summarize the lesson, you have studied and you have learned how to change from one unit to another unit. Okay, so this is very good. And I'm sure you have mastered it and you have uh, understood it. So with this, I would like to say thank you very much and may God bless you. Bye. See you the next time.